morning, Cyber Friends. This is Mitty Man coming at you again from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. I'd like to give a big shout out to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, as well as Mama JT. Y'all know the routine. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. We also want to give a shout out to the uh, the End Time Harvest Gang. Uh, Brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge, uh, Brother L.A. Michael McCree, Brother Hot and Clear, Brother P.P. Drawing, Brother J.T., as well as Papa J.T. and Brother Orange Flavor. We give all of you your accolades, and we want to also give our glory and our honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who deserve all the glory and honor. We thank him, people, for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. It could have been the other way. But God saw fit this morning to touch old Mitty Man with the finger of love one more time. And eyes flew wide open. Saw a day that I never will see again. And never will see, never have seen before. And for that we give him honor. I want to thank Brother JT uh, for last night. We had a good time, man. Uh, it's all about the Word of God. And uh, we, me and Brother JT, we uh, did a second part of uh, continuing a continuance, uh, really, it's going to be a continuation of the powerless church and end time events. And uh, people I know that some might be mocking, some might be mocking, and saying that uh, people don't know what they're talking about, including myself. That a lot of people might say, Well, many man, you don't know what you're talking about, man. Why are you keep on speaking this? Him? Well, people, many man are not saying anything that hasn't been said before. Neither are the ones that are preaching this gospel. The Bible speaks of these here days. Jesus himself spoke of these here latter days that we are in right now. And I do believe, people, that we are in these here latter days. Now, if I cannot stop people from marking, I think about what had just happened here the other day. And my cousin, uh, his son, and I, God knows my heart goes out to him. Haven't seen my cousin now in a good little while. You know how it is, people, when everybody gets apart. And everybody goes one of their separate ways. And, you know, life goes on. And I had a, matter of fact, one of my school mates, one of my playmates from years, been, been knowing each other over 40 years, friends. I had to get on the telephone and call him up. He's living in New Jersey now. And uh, I called him up and uh, was telling him about it because at first I thought it was my cousin that killed himself. But which either case, it was still a sad occasion. But I did think, I thought at, at the beginning, you know how people go with that, the street committee, I call it. The street committee take things and they stretch it. And according to the street committee, I thought it was my cousin that had killed the girl and then turned the gun on himself. But... It wasn't him, but it was his son, but he was still my cousin. So, nevertheless, you know, Jesus said in these times it will be perilous. And people, we can, you don't, you know, you, you, you don't have to be an Einstein to figure some things out. You don't have to be an Einstein to do that. And the only thing that, uh, like I said, so myself and Brother JT and, and, uh, and, uh, and a thousand more like us, that speaking these things from the Bible. Now I realize that now I'm, I'm, I realize that some people are not coming from the Bible, and I realize that some people may not be doing the thing the way they should be doing it. But now we can't help that. But I assure you that many man, and as far as I can see, the one that I look at on the YouTube, and from some of the, the one that I look at, it, these people are coming from Scripture. Now. <clears throat> whether you want to believe it or not, is that's your account. <clears throat> that's your business. But people, I wouldn't wait until it's too late. Because there's going to come a time when grace is going to end, people. We're living right now in the period of grace. Oh, yes, sir. The church, we can talk about the powerless church, but there, there is a church that's not powerless. There is a church that got power. Those are the ones that are doing, and they're going by the original plan. The plan that Jesus told his disciples. This is what we should do. Come together as one. Just like he said, him and his father were one. You see, if we, get, if we could just ever get aside, lay aside our little differences, and our bickering, and, our, and, and, and all the jealousy, and the hatred, and the animosity, if we can ever lay aside that and get that out of the church, church going to have power again. By signs and wonders. 
this is what I'm look, this is what I'm talking about. I was I was listening to what some of the brother Hardcliffe shared with me not too long ago. Well, you see in the miraculous. This is what Jesus says: signs and wonders shall follow them. Excuse me. That believe in my name shall they do this and shall they do that and shall they cast out demons and devils. People, we need to get about our heavenly Father's business. We are in the time right now where everything is right for the harvest. Jesus said so when he was here. He said, Behold, the harvest is, is right, is white, but the laborers are few. So, but we take good men and good women. We take people that are trying to do the best they can to teach this word, this gospel, what Jesus told us, and to get it to the masses. But then we got people that are certain folk of the church, big shot that think that they own something. They want to get rid of preachers and stuff. And they, people that bring them the true, true gospel. You want to get rid of them, but you want to bring some jack legs in. Somebody that's going to lead this flock astray and scatter the sheep. Those are the ones that we cling to. People, we got the wrong notion. We got the wrong notion. So many man plead today to the masses. I don't know who see these videos. I, I, I mean... It may not mean to view these video because number one, folks don't want to hear the truth. But many man is going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. But if I'm guilty, the truth is just the truth, regardless. So we just need to folk and just do like David. When we find ourselves in sin, just don't try to cover it up. Let's just repent quick. Repent. And don't do these things no more. Ask God to help you. We all sin and come short of the glory. None of us got it made. None of us got it all worked out. I don't care who get on these cameras on YouTube and they get up there and act like they, they never done nothing and try to make you and I feel small. Believe you me. It's something in their closet they're dealing with too, brother. Every one of us got something with. If we didn't have something to deal with, Jesus died for nothing. It was called Jesus came to die because we could not do this thing straight. We could not do it 100%. Now, I don't care who y'all. I don't care who y'all. You if you see this video and you think you got it all worked out, Buster. You just you just lying and the truth ain't in you. You don't have it all worked out either. And if you did, then you wouldn't have to pray. You would be Jesus yourself if you could do everything to the letter. To the letter. People, Jesus showed us that we could not do it. We cannot. He said, without me, ye can't do nothing. But let me tell you something, people. Some of us get a little big britch. Our britches get too big on us sometimes. We get to thinking about how great we doing. People, let me tell you something. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Listen to me, the man. You could be, when you on one of your best days, and you thinking you're doing everything just right, Satan will come in. And if you're not careful, you'll fall, you'll slip and fall. Don't get proud and arrogant. In your walk with God. Because it's his strength. Not yours. Not mine. It is his strength that keeps us from falling. If you go on over there and read that great benediction in the book of Jude. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. See in other words. It's not many man. It don't make no difference what many man go and how he, he read a scripture and get on this camera. It, that, ain't got, that is to a no account. If my motive and my heart is not right with God, just like Peter and them told Simon, we thought that he could purchase the gift of God with money. He said, your heart is not right. You are, you, you, your stance is not right. People, we need to get right with God and do it now. I'm telling you, we need to get right with God and do it now. And we need to stop worrying about what other people going to say or what other people are not saying. We need to get right with God ourselves. Forget about many, man. You take care of yourself. Many man gonna take care of himself. He will tell you the truth. You should tell you speak the truth and cut the deck. That's all you can do. You cannot lead and make anybody accept Christ. You cannot come to Christ unless God draw you. People, I heard somebody try to make a I heard somebody try to make some light in that and try to make it strange. No, it meant just what it said. You cannot come to Christ and let the Spirit draw you. People. You just let your light shine. Just like Jesus said. He said, let your light shine before men. That they may what? See your good work and then do what? 
Glorify your Father which is in heaven. You see, this is why we do good work. It's to show that let our light shine before the men and women. Before a dying world that's on its way to hell. We let our light shine through our good works and the way we do. Glorifying our Father which is in heaven. The people see this, those that are without, that are not inside the fold. They see this and they wonder. And they want to, They may want to know, how is it, Mitty Man, that you can speak to people that you know don't like you? Mitty Man, how is it that you can just give your money to folk that hate you? Mitty Man, how is it that you, I can't, then that's your chance that you tell them. No, Mitty Man can't do it. But it's him that is within that's the time you can witness for Christ then and show them that it's a better way. It's a better way. Jesus, Jesus came with the new because if the old had been perfect, it wouldn't have been no need for the new. Jesus came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. And I don't let this video went over more than I was intended. So I'm going to cut it off right here. And I'm going to say, whatever you get, whatever you get into, this the weekend, and I know a lot of people get crazy on the weekend. People, there's nothing wrong with having fun, but do it sensible. Do it sensible. Don't. The life you save may be your own. So whatever you get or whatever you get into, remember, if God is not in it, it's best that you get out of it. This is the man saying, have a good weekend. Make sure you keep God first. Peace. Goodbye.